Good morning, everybody. Uh, so yesterday we learnt all about the number six. I wonder what number you think we're learning about today. Today, which is t -t -t Tuesday. There's a big clue on the screen. Yeah, that's right. We are learning about the number seven. So that's the number that comes after number six. Let's find out what we're learning about today then and all the different ways that we can show number seven. So. I've told you that today we are learning about the number seven. Have a little go at drawing the number seven. You can do it in the air. You could draw it on your hand. You could draw it on sort of the, you know, something in front of you, the table. If you want to have a go at getting a pen and a bit of paper and writing it yourself, then have a little go. That would be lovely. So yes, the number seven. Here are some different ways that the number seven can be shown. So let's have a little closer look at these. How many fingers are being shown? Can you count them? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, that's right. There are seven fingers there. Can you show seven fingers? Have a little go. Well done. And for an extra challenge, can you show seven fingers in a different way? So show sort of different groups, maybe a four and a three. Well done. So let's have a look at what this word says. This word says seven seven. So when we're writing uh, the word seven, this is how it is written. Now we use these at school. Yes, that's right. It's called Numicon. And with the number seven, there are seven holes or in this picture, there are seven circles. Do you want to just check that there are seven circles or seven holes? Count them. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, well done. There are seven holes there. And the colour is Miss Bradbury's favourite colour, the colour pink. Now, we looked at one of these yesterday, but it had six spots or six dots on it. It is a side of a dice. Can you count how many spots are on this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well done. Yes, there are seven dots there. How do you notice the dots are positioned? What can you see? Is it seven dots all in a line? No, there's not seven dots all in a line. So let me tell you what I can see. I can see three dots down the one side and then there's three dots down the other side and then there's also one dot in the middle. So I would say there's two groups of three and one group of one but all together they do make seven dots. Now, I wonder if you can find the number seven on our number line. Point to it if you can see it. Let's see if you're right. Yes, well done. There is the number seven. And before it is number six. Then we've got number seven. And then after it is number eight. Let's find out what our next challenge is. Oh, so we've got another number line, but this number line looks a bit different. This one is what we call vertical. Can you spot the number seven on this number line? Have a little look. Can you find it? Let's see if you're right. Yes, well done. There is the number seven. And again, before it, we've got the number six. And after it, we've got the number eight. Right, let's try this together. Seven bees want to land on the flower. But can you help them? We need to click on seven bees to add them to the flower. 
do it with me. I'm going to start over here and go down that way so you can follow me. So as I click them, I'm going to say the number. Oh, one. Oh, it's just doing it itself. One, two. Oh, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, tell you what, these bees are being a little bit silly this morning. Count how many bees there are on there so then we can work out if we need to add more or not. So I'm going to do it with my mouse. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wonderful. So we've actually got all of them on there. And these two bees, I think, are quite happy just to sort of buzz around and maybe, uh, you know, go off and produce some honey in their beehive. OK, our next challenge this is Anya and Anya needs to find the jar of sweets that's got seven sweets in it. Can you help her? I think you can. So have a look at the jars. We've got the jar of lovely stripy pink and red and yellow sweets there. And we've got uh, the jar of the blue sweets there, the dark blue sweets. And then we've got the sort of greeny colour or turquoise, I'd probably call it, some sweets there. So in your head, count or out loud, I'm going to count in my head, you count out loud how many of the pink sweets there are. So I'm going to count them in my head. OK, so I, I, OK. Right, I'm going to now count these ones. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, OK. And now I'm going to count the sort of greeny turquoise ones down here. Hmm, 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 hmm. <gasps> OK, I think I know which one has got seven sweets in it. Actually, I think it might be this one here. Uh -uh. Oh, no. Try again. Sometimes the teachers make mistakes as well. And it's OK to make mistakes, children. It just means that we just need to try again. OK, now which one is the right one? Maybe it's this one. I'm going to pick that one because it's got pink sweets in it. Oh, no, that's not right. How many did that have in it? We've got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's not seven sweets, is it? We're looking for seven sweets. That's got five in it. I know, I think it must be this one, but I'm just going to double check. I'm just going to count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I think it's that one. I'm going to click it and see if we're right. Yeah, well done. That jar has got seven sweets in it. They look delicious, don't they? So. Do you remember I said yesterday you might have a number on your house or on your gate or on your door? Maybe your house has got the number seven on it or it's got a number that's got the number seven in it. And at the end of this activity, it would be absolutely brilliant if you could go and find the number seven in your home, in your environment. I'll talk about that when we get to the last slide. So here we are. Here's this. It's a footballer and he has got the number seven on his shirt. So these are all the different ways that we have seen the number seven. So here with the letters, we've got how the word seven is written. We've got the numeral or the number seven here and how we would write it. We always start here come across and go down. We've got the seven numicon because there are seven holes. OK, and it's the colour pink. And here we've got the dice with seven spots on it. How many apples are there here? Let's have a little double check. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Seven juicy green apples. They look shiny as well, don't they? You can sort of see that little bright, uh, what we call a highlight on it. Okay, 
your next challenge if you can find some space somewhere i would like you to jump like a frog seven times are you ready and as you say as you jump you can say the number as well because it help you okay let's go one two three four five six seven lovely well done i bet you're a little bit out of breath after doing that an exercise is really really good to do it's good for getting your heart pumping and your heart is a muscle we want it nice and strong um you know and it's it's just good exercise is good for keeping fit can you show me seven fingers Oh, well done. Can you show me seven fingers in a different way? So move the seven around. Well done. Thank you for trying that. So now you are an expert of the number seven. Can you give yourself seven pats on the back? Or you can tap your head as well, whichever. I'm going to do it now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you give yourself seven claps? Don't forget to count as you clap. No cheating and, and counting too quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well done. So today we've been learning about the number seven. I would now like you to go around your uh, house if you can and have a look for things that have got the number seven on them. So good places to look might be a calculator, if you know somebody that's got a calculator. Uh, you could look on a remote for the television, the TV, that has got numbers on it. You can have a look at a clock or a watch you will should find the number seven there somewhere if one of your grown-ups or your family has got a diary or a calendar maybe you could find the seven there you might have a microwave there might be the seven on there so have a little look all around for the number seven and if you want to have a go at writing the number seven that would be brilliant as well and also if you can count out seven objects, that would be a brilliant activity to do as well. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.